Hello my fellow GPU miner, do I have some exciting stuff for you today? If you're using Windows, sorry to all the Linux slash HyperOS users out there, I have to start somewhere. Introducing? Oh, you are excited, aren't you? La Kakorocha. No, nope, not at all. Introducing Crypto Miners GPU Mining Switch. Yes, isn't that a fantastic name? This is the very first version, so it is a bit simple. It is a GPU mining profit switch in version 1 and more very awesome features will be added at a later point. Currently it supports Beam, Conceal, Conflux Network, Cortex, Ergo, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Proof of Work, Fero, Gemlink, Casper, Neoxa, Ravencoin, Rayo, and Zero. More cryptocurrencies will be added at a later point. If you have any requests, join us on Fellow Miners Discord channel. Here you can see some of the planned features. MVP aka Minimal Viable Product is version 1 and live now. At Discord and or, it was supposed to say Telegram, a message, but I guess I was too tired to write Telegram. GPU Mining Reward Switch multiple currencies and kilowatt hour cost that actually comes from another data source so it can turn the mining on and off depending on the electricity spot price. Just to make it clear, this list doesn't actually reflect which order I'm going to develop them in. You will find the link to the Discord channel either inside the application or in the description of the video or the pinned comment of the video. Please use the Discord channel to report bugs as well. To try it out, head over to the GitHub page and download the zip file. You'll find the GitHub page link in the description. As soon as it is done downloading, simply unzip it and add the antivirus exception rules as you have on T-Rex Miner for example, or else it will, as soon as it runs T-Rex Miner, get blocked. Or any other GPU mining software for that matter. Run the application when you are done. The application requires admin rights as uh, it needs to run the best files as admin. Enter your kilowatt hour price in your dollars and how many minutes you want to delay between checks. Then enter the different values for the different cryptocurrencies and point to your best files for each of the miners you are using for the different cryptocurrencies. For example, you may want to use T-Rex Miner for Ergo and Lot Miner for Casper and something else for Neoxa and so forth. It's simply batch files that's going to execute, so it supports all of them. However, the application does not manage your overclock settings, so make sure they are included in the batch files. If you're using Lot Miner, then try and use the LOL NVIDIA overclock. I will put a link in the description for that to set your overclock settings directly in the batch file. When the delay has passed, it will check again and see which cryptocurrency is most profitable. Let's just give that a hit and try one where I've set it to 1. Here I've set the check to 1 minute and I highly recommend you do not do that. Put it at a minimum of 30 minutes. Anyway, here we can see the profits for the different uh, cryptocurrencies that I have configured and that Neoxa is still the best in this case. But those are also just dummy hash rates. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you will join the application. I hope to see you in the next one.